Okay. So, okay. What do you think I'd have to do in order to be successful in law school? I'd have to quit all consuming all marijuana, do you think? You can't consume marijuana and go to law school. What you, What makes you think you can't consume marijuana and go to law school? <laughs> okay, fine. Um, why do you think you'd have to quit? Why do you think you'd have to quit doing smoking marijuana to be a lawyer? Who do you think would bust you for it? The police? The police bust you for ha smoking marijuana if you're trying to become a lawyer? If you're taking over the marijuana yeah. to the highest point. I mean, that's kind of a good joke. If you're taking over marijuana to the highest yeah. point. Well, yes, the highest point. I, do you think that ADHD would preclude one from successfully doing law school? Would make it too hard to do law school? Yeah, because that's what you want bad things to get through law school. You're going to have more than your ratio of good things to bad things must be phenomenal. The ratio of, phenomenal. The ratio of good things to bad things must be phenomenal to get through law school? Yes, to get through law school. <laughs> and to be, after getting through law school, you got to get a job, right? That's what you're going to school. You're going to school because you want to show experience. Okay? That's not why I would be going to law school, though. I would be going to law school. You gotta get your degree. I mean, I'd be going to law school so that I could practice law, probably as a public defender. But what I'd really want to do is, is use my law degree to enable me to make a lot of constitutional law arguments. Hell the fuck yeah, dude. So. Fuck yeah. I want to attack. That's already enough laws. That's fucking. I I agree with you. Laws. I completely fucking agree with you. There are too many laws already. Way too many. I want to. I want to get my law degree. Dude, that's that's why you have police, police brutality. I agree with you. And then you have the corrupted fucking police. <laughs> yep. You already have one bad thing plus corruption. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how many years of counting, <laughs> counting the bad things, right? How many bad things do you have? Is no, you're not supposed to count any bad things. Okay. Well, that's it. I want to go into law for one reason only, and that's to attack. Okay, I don't, I don't plan to go in there to, to be a prosecutor or something. For God's sakes, hell's to the motherfucking no. I don't have a question. You were telling me I couldn't, oh, you were saying I couldn't do law school. Because you have ADHD. Because I have ADHD, right. Okay. You said that. I did say I have ADHD. I said I've been diagnosed, uh, diagnosed as having it. Damn. But I, I didn't say that I therefore couldn't go through law school. You said that part, right? My friend. You didn't? <laughs> you did. Just saying that. Like, ADHD is, Is it? Now, when you already have something that, that's already bad, yeah, Eric, you can't go through loss. Can I ask you, uh, is ADHD, do you're you not like, if I have to, you're not going to get through the test with ADHD. Wait, hold on, what is the time, what is the time? Okay, well, he, he just made his point, which is that you're just not going to be able to get through law school. ADHD is going to be too encumbering. You're going to have, you have magnificent. you got to have magnificent, magnificent not, abs. Not, 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 not have Most importantly, you need like, magnificent you abs. Have, like, the, the best, like, power. Honestly, I disagree. Best power I think having, ADHD, having ADHD is something that you. I think that even with or without ADHD, you can still make it so long as you have good memory. That's because a disability. Law ADHD is, all is about a disability. If you say you got a disability, then it's not a disability. I'm sure if you really super try, you could make it, Eric. Even though it's gonna be hard or with your disability you go, dragging you, you down. Lie, 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 you should make a series called Eric Goes to Law School. <laughs> Everything I've heard this evening 
about that thing about whether or not I'd be able to go to law school. Did you have a job? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just told you he's my fucking boss. <laughs> you have a job? He's yeah. a fucking. Oh, no, well, he's I'm a, ask himself. He's a, okay. All right, go ahead. Ask me stuff you want to ask me. Go what, ahead. Is your, what is your I job? What, what, what is your job as a boss? What is my job as a boss? <laughs> It's to uh, coach debate. I mean, it's the same job as if I weren't the boss, really. Most of my work is coaching debate. Coach the kids. Get them to win. Coaching debate? Getting the kids to win, yeah. yeah. To win the competitions. It's like a competition sport. You can imagine me like a football coach, except... It's like track and field with all kinds of fucking different events. With the amount of, like, time consistency that it takes to train so you get paid for people people pay me to coach their kids dang he's yeah. a former teacher dude I used to be a teacher now, now I just coach privately at Rebay right oh, I was a teacher at Rebay I was a teacher at Samson Academy so like as a tutor no I'm not a tutor, not a tutor. A I'm teacher. a coach I used to be a teacher yeah. a role model well, I, I, look, first of all, I reject your, your, your assertion that teachers and or coaches have to be role models outside of their work, outside of their actual in-work time. But second of all, I reject the implication that somehow I'm doing anything that's not adequate role model behavior. <laughs> I think that all the things I'm doing are saying true words and behaving ethically and prioritizing the discussion of morality and ethics <laughs> In oh, politics boy, and yeah. in all sorts of areas. I agree with you. God. Alright, so if you're not a role model, yeah. that, means you have, that means you have no obligation. Okay, well, look, that, that's, that's a good. I, I, I like this point. I like your, I like your line of argument here. To be a role model. All right, so he says, if, if I'm well, claiming not to be a role model, then I'm saying I have no obligations. I think that's fair to say. I think that's a good claim to make in general. But listen here, what I'm saying is, Remember, I'm specifying I'm not a role model outside of the classroom, the inside classroom environment. In the class when I'm working with the kids, I am responsible for their moral and ethical development. That's why I teach them certain ways and the ways I do and what I teach them, right? I'm trying to, I am teaching the students very earnestly how to raise their middle fingers and assert their own autonomous rights as individuals. So I'm explaining to them that their teachers at school are um, participating in a corrupt system that is forcing them to stay in a location they don't want to be in, doing pointless pretend work, and that they should not be afraid for one second to raise both middle fingers and say, fuck you, I'm out of here. Yeah. None of them do it, but I try to encourage it. I try to be a role model, you see? I, that, do you think that's role model behavior, what I'm doing? What's all time? I'm saying if I'm a seventh grader, I am. At to the, be a role model, you gotta be a fucking. You, know, you gotta be what? You gotta be fucking more than one saying is undescribable. Okay. Do I have to? Be, do I have to not smoke cigarettes to be a role model? But I do smoke cigarettes. I would claim that I am still a role model. In, in certain contexts. I don't think I am supposed to be a role model. I don't think I'm necessarily a role model. I do understand that I function as one. And I try to always maintain a clear position on my ethical behaviors. So why is it you think smoking cigarettes precludes me from being a role model? First of all, to be a role model, you have to... Okay, well, but I mean, are they going to necessarily start smoking because I am smoking? Does it matter if I'm telling them about, if I'm saying, hey kids, you guys should smoke. Is that different than actually, if I'm, if I'm, let's say I'm not smoking, but I'm encouraging them to smoke. Versus I am smoking, but I'm encouraging them not to smoke. Which is better? I am? Yeah. Okay. But I didn't just, I didn't role make role a, I didn't make any position though. I didn't state any position. I just asked you a question. But 
but I disagree with you. But that's your criteria. I think I would say a good role model demonstrates the students. Role models to the younger generation. Well, here's what I'm here's what I'm modeling for. I'm saying, students, learn here and now that just because the society at large casts aspersion on something like this. That you should not assume that people who smoke are bad people. You should not assume that it's any of your business to worry about whether they're smoking. They're autonomous individuals just like you. And so you should embrace the fact that he, Eric, is making this choice without trying to copy it. I'm telling you right now, it's a stupid thing to start smoking because it costs a lot of money. So don't do it, kids. There's no reason to. My general rule I tell everybody is don't do any drugs you haven't already done. Don't do any drugs you haven't already done. There's no reason to start doing new drugs. Definitely. There's always going to be more. Right, there's always more drugs. <laughs> but yeah, don't right. start doing any more drugs. Because there's more, doesn't mean you should try them all. Just yeah. Right. Yeah, just stick with them. And, and the rule... There's always different ones that have, will fuck you up. It's important. Smoking in general. Smoking in general is not a positive thing. Either. But, I mean, who, that... Here's the thing. You have, you believe it's not a positive thing, but it's positive for me. I enjoy smoking. It, it gives me that rich tobacco flavor. Deep in my lungs, where oh, it belongs. See right there, you're not being a huh? You're, you're increasing the negativity. I'm making. I'm. I'm modeling successful humor. Uh, <laughs> all right, successful humor. But... <laughs> and not only that, but I'm modeling the importance of prioritizing making jokes over judging be, uh, the behavior of people, not myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Thanks for watching. This is, this is, this is interesting. I've been enjoying this a lot.